Right. Ooh. Oh. 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 oh dear. Oh, <laughs> sorry about it, sorry, George. George. Hey. <laughs> Off uh -oh. you go. Oh, Magnuson. Magnuson. Oh. Don't you dare squeeze oh. me, Magnuson. Okay. All right. Watch this. Oh. Send. Send. Rolled off the brakes. Yeah. Placed the car perfectly on the apex. No way he's coming back from that one. Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox. I'm Mike, joined by Luke from Hello. Outside Extra. Hi. Fellow F1 liker, something mm. that is at least partly my fault. Yeah, like 50% your fault. It pretty yeah. much is 50% my fault. Uh, and uh, we're playing F1 22, not F1 2022. Uh, they've changed the name now. I'm going to do a quick one-shot uh, qualifying lap around the new Miami circuit. I like mm. it. This corner that you're coming up to here, this one hey. right now, yeah. catches me out every time. Um, yeah. Surprisingly I, um, steep. Yeah, and you sort of you just end up getting a load of understeer, don't you, basically, and, and, and having to wait to get on the power. Things are about to go a bit uh, twisty Squig and technical, Squiggly, aren't they? I think, yeah. is probably my technical term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some really low speed corners. Yeah, I mean, this, this uphill chicane Oop. is bizarre. Oop. Absolutely bizarre. Yeah. And then I, I, you know, I'm taking this in first, but you know, I, I'm still not clear on whether first or second is best for this. But then you've got that is the most important corner. That super low speed corner just there is the most important corner on the circuit because it lines you up for this big straight and then into this big stop, which is pretty much the end of the lap. Another big overtaking point, hopefully. Well, I mean, let, let's let's see how you did. This was this was your one lap qualifying, this right? This was my one lap qualifying. Boop. And uh, I'm on pole. Nice. <laughs> so, um, so it went yeah. pretty well. Yeah, I guess it did go pretty well. I wasn't really expecting to be on pole, actually. So, um... We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but there you go. One thing worth pointing out, in this code, um, the car models are one of the things that's not final. So they're all that sort of generic 2022 shape Formula 1 car. But obviously, when the game comes out, they'll have sort of updated them. So they actually, you know, the Mercedes will have those bizarre skinny side pods and stuff. Mm. So here's the grid. Oh, Paris, Paris has got his eyes closed. Yeah, Perez, come on. <laughs> They've done the dirty on Perez. At that <laughs> <laughs> now, a new thing for this, which is ex extremely confusing when the lights go green suddenly, is you can do a formation lap now. Look, doing the formation lap. Oh, we're doing, the the, the, we're, we're doing the formation lap. What does Max think he's doing? Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's a power play. This but, is classic um, Verstappen. Yeah, it's classic Verstappen behavior. Break so look, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to warm my tires and stuff and, and things. Oh, cool. Um, I don't know how effective it's being, but... Um, but yeah, like, this is what they do, right? They, they wiggle around like this. This is absolutely what they do, yeah. It is funny, though, because if you didn't know you were doing a formation lap, it just looks like you're it's really, really it. struggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I brought, brought up the little display to show me my temperatures. And, yeah. You know, you can see them rising and falling. And, you know, when you, when you do a bit of braking and stuff, you see the brake temperatures rise. And that should affect the tyre temperatures as well. But as you accelerate, obviously, the brakes cool. All right, here we go. Look, I've got to, I've got to line up my car now in the grid spot. This is yeah. another part of the formation lap. And obviously, you want to draw it out so you're not sat there with your tyres going exactly. cold. Exactly. Yeah. I want to bunch the field up. Yeah. I probably could have bunched them up more, but I was concentrating on making sure I didn't sail past my grid slot, which is easy. easy. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to spot when you're in first. Let me tell you. Wait for those lights. All right. Oh, here we go. Holding the clutch in. Optimal RPM. Boom. Boom. There you go. Pretty good start. Not a bad start at all. But as I mentioned, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually let some cars pass because it's no fun if I'm just on purpose. Like, yes. Yeah, look, <laughs> I'm going slow. This is not how fast <laughs> I normally drive. Look, I'm allowing people pass. All right. Okay. Like, all, right, all right. I'm in third. I'm just like I'm cruising. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. okay no, oh, God, too no, many. Stop. Stop. Too many people. Get back here. Off no. Course. No. Too many. <laughs> you definitely like to. You're only just in the points, Mike. Come on. Yeah, it's true. All right, I've got work to do now. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do some work on Ocon. I'm going to take that one back straight away, obviously. Well, that, was, that was very neat. Looked like Gasly set himself up rather nicely around that corner you mentioned. Yeah, exactly. And now he's uh, now he's sort of dragging away. This is me. a DRS zone, isn't it? Isn't oh, who's it, this on the side, though? What? It's Ocon coming back at me. Ocon? Well, Gasly moved over to defend what, Ocon, but he's left, he's left me loads of space to get past. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. Oh, we're snapping Max got the fastest lap. lap. We'll have to take that off him. Yes, obviously. please. Um, I, my, my impression of this preview was that it gave me a new appreciation for how staggeringly hard it must be to make a Formula One game. Yes. Uh, and the reason is, I, I think the reason that I like F1 so much is because to do it, you have to basically have superhuman powers. Reflexes. And and superhuman skills, reflexes. Yeah. It, it, is, it is so fast. The margins for error are so enjoyably uh tiny you know yep. like one mistake 
your race is over. Um, you know, w when you look at a, a competitor who is way down the field, doing way worse than the than the driver in first, and the difference mm. between them is like tight seconds, second. yeah. uh, seconds over, over over a race that takes you know nearly two hours. Yeah. Um, and when I so when I played the demo, I did it with all of the um, adaptive AI stuff on, you know, like set to yeah. casual, trying to get that experience of being the kind of like, hey, not really played much of one game before, let me in, show me what you got. Yes. Um, and uh, and I easily won my first <laughs> race, uh, even though I slammed into the wall like three times. Um, yeah. And then I thought, well, this doesn't feel like the Formula One I've come to love. I should have definitely not been allowed to win this race. So then I turned the adaptive AI off. Um, tinkered with the assists and basically made it much harder um, yes. and then when I tried it again immediately went into the back of Hamilton my front wing came off <laughs> uh, and my race was over in about 10 seconds and so then you were fired and ex then... yeah, exactly exactly so I think um, uh, demoted I, to the junior team yeah so so my experience of the demo I think a lot of people will find this if you haven't played an F1 game before is basically do invest some time like mm. finding the right difficulty settings yeah. for you uh, to make it, you know, enjoyable and to, to fit your skill and experience yeah. level. Oops, I gave Alonso a bit of a nudge there. Um, He's a he, seasoned old warrior, he won't mind. Yeah, so you really, I mean, there's a lot of settings. It's sort of like, I think over the last, I mean, Codemasters have been doing the F1 games now for 12 years, 13 years, something like that. Um, they've accumulated all these sort of settings and things. Um, that are, you know, tweakable now. And so you really can customise it to your, you know, you can make it phenomenally difficult to race the AI, but very easy to drive the car, or you can make it very hard to drive the car, but make the AI more forgiving, and it's, you know, whatever floats your boat, really, to be honest. Oh, Paris is coming back at me. <gasps> it's, oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. And Alonso as well. Yeah. For a game that is, that can be customised to be relentlessly realistic, Mm. Um, what I got a kick out of was that this is the racing game that remind, reminded me more than any other of the ones that I really love from the olden days, like Wipeout like and F-Zero. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's so fast. Mm. Um, and there's something about like taking a lot of corners in a re really, really quickly in a very sort of twitchy, yes. um, uh, twitchy kind of way that I find deeply, deeply satisfying. Um, yeah, I didn't think it, I would get it in a realistic racing sim. So this is the new pit, pit stop stuff, by the way, the new immersive pit stop, and I just failed to turn in quickly enough, apparently. So, um, oh. so I, I get a slower pit stop because I miss my marks and my team are angry at me, and they're having to fix my nose because I <laughs> And crashed. now they're passive aggressively doing yeah, it exactly. slowly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all their fist bumps afterwards will be passive aggressive yeah. fist bumps. So. Okay, so where are you coming out though? Behind Latifi, which is, mm. I mean, not great. Right. Ooh. Oh. 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 Dear. oh <laughs> sorry about it, sorry, George. George. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Capitalized oh no. There. Oh no. The FIA's <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> what is gonna happen? You're Probably gonna nothing. Get in trouble. Nothing. <laughs> You're out there. Um, sorry about it, George. I blame George for that. He brake checked me. That's my <laughs> argument. To your analysis. Yeah. What's the DRS situation on this track? Are you you about to? Let me tell you what the DRS situation is, Luke. I can't remember what button I assigned it to on my steering wheel. <laughs> so, but because I've forgotten what to what button I assigned it to, let's pretend I've got a catastrophic DRS failure. Oh I'm, no! I'm driving, I'm driving around the problem. You know, I, I think heroically. I really think that a lot of the enjoyment of games like this is basically role playing. Yes. Right. I like to pretend I'm Charles Leclerc. A lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> And that doesn't like stop to when the like race young, is over. Handsome multi-millionaire racing driver Charles Leclerc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Magnuson! Magnuson! Oh. Don't you dare squeeze oh. me, Magnuson! That was cool, though. Do you see? They did a little yeah. like he was thinking about it. And yeah, then he was really, he was trying yeah. to. That was cool. I right. like that. Now I'm thinking about running into Perez. And, yeah. and am you've not been as polite to Perez as no, Kevin haven't. was to you. Okay. All right, watch this. Ooh. Send, send. Rolled off the brakes. Yeah, placed the car perfectly on the apex. No way he's coming back from that one. I know it's Zoom, the you know the the video conferencing software, but I just love that this track just says Zoom, 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 Zoom. zoom. Like it's encouraging you, like it's egging you on. It needs an exclamation really point, doesn't it? Yeah. This is excruciating. This is what like this is what sort of racing sims are all about. It's not about like 
the blasting past people in you know in overtakes. It's yeah. the slowly inching towards someone who's ahead of you. Oh no, I've hit the wall! Oh, no, I've hit the wall. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now it's a racing sim. You do four yeah. laps of seeing no one slowly, slowly yeah. gaining ground, and, and then, then make one tiny mistake that and makes, all over, yeah. makes the whole thing unwinnable. So he wasn't that far ahead. Like, no, no, he's only just finished. On yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and let's bear in mind that I did let half the field go past on the first lap. Yeah, I, I was on pole. Thanks for joining me, chatting cars. Like and subscribe to both Outside Xbox and Outside Extra for much more on F1 2022 because I think we'll be playing it across both channels, won't we, probably? I'm sure, yeah. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.